Howard was and is a crossroads of the world. And I believe that it is an experience that many people cherish and would find life transforming. I want to know ya, Cameroon, Guinea-Bissau, Sierra Leone, gotta let me show ya, Nigeria, the Oko Island, Liberia, I want to know ya, Cameroon, Guinea-Bissau, Sierra Leone. My name is Ian Niles, and I am a proud member of the African Ancestry family. My name is Nika Nicholson. I am a proud member of the African Ancestry family. I am Michael R. Winston, a proud member of African Ancestry family. I'm Denise Rolark Barnes, publisher of The Washington Informer, and a proud member of the African Ancestry family. I am a graduate of Howard University and the School of Arts and Sciences, class of 2007. Uh, I'm a two-time Howard graduate. Uh, School of Business was 19, class of 1990, School of Law, class of 1993. Publisher of The Washington Informer, class of 1976, Howard University School of Communications, and class of 1979, Howard University School of Law. Howard University College of Liberal Arts, class of 1962. I went to, unfortunately, a very, um, what I would call very racist um, high school. It was 97% white. Um, so when I made the decision to go to Howard University, it was really me reaching out to be with people that look like me and to um, kind of be in a more welcoming, uh, a more welcoming experience and environment. Actually, it was uh, my identity that uh, made me want to go to Howard in the first place. I realized that it was the best environment for me to not only grow, but to excel academically, emotionally, culturally, and socially. Howard confirmed or affirmed uh, my identity, uh, not only as an African-American student, a female student, but also as an aspiring publisher. My dad owned the Washington Informer and going to the School of Communications at Howard allowed me to uh, learn from real practitioners, people who were involved in communications. I think it just helped me solidify my identity as um, as a woman, as a black woman, as a black person um, within the context of this, you know, larger black community. And coming back to work for my dad's newspaper, one of um, a few black-owned newspapers in Washington, D.C., gave me some sense of purpose. So I'm glad I went there because I didn't aspire to go someplace else. I just aspired to come back home to work for a newspaper that served uh, the local community, and it was Howard University that reinforced that idea. I discovered at Howard University through experience, not simply reading about it, uh, the extent of the global diaspora. And there I had uh, schoolmates from 90 countries and uh, 48 states, and one of the most dramatic things, of course, was encountering other black students from a wide variety of backgrounds. I, had to, I did not go to Howard to find out who I was racially. I already knew that. But I certainly had not experienced direct contact with students from all the major cities of the United States. Uh, I had encountered uh, Professor William Leo Hansberry, who was called the father of African history, who in 1922 began teaching courses in ancient African history as well as modern African history. Uh, I became more aware than I had ever been of the rich tradition of black people in the world I share ancestry with the Takar people of Cameroon and the Akan people of Ghana. I, my African ancestry is Tikar. I learned that I am Fulani and Yoruba from the what is now present-day Nigeria. That established connection to, to Africa, to the motherland. 
I mean, before finding that out, uh, I mean, we all know we're African, of African descent, but I really could only say that, um, you know, I, I, I could trace myself back to the Caribbean, uh, Trinidad and Barbados, but um, learning that now, I know that I could uh, connect uh, to Nigeria. Um, and it was, uh, it was very important to me. Tracing back to Cameroon was really important because it kind of gave me like an understanding of not just you know, the first or second stop after coming from the continent, but a larger context of who I am. And an opportunity to visit Cameroon on two separate occasions, it gave me a lot of insight into the personalities or the, the characters, characteristics of the people that I come from on my mother's side. I saw a lot of physical uh, uh, similarities, um, particularly in facial features. And um, it, just, it just really kind of grew my sense of community. Not only uh, do I feel a part of a community being here in Washington, D.C., but now a part of a cultural community that expands the globe, but is based uh, in Cameroon at this point. It was surprisingly important to make the more direct connection. I'm not sure that I can fully explain it. Um, but it does mean that a certain vagueness vanishes. vanishes.